Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we're going to add some very basic styles to our Yelp clone comics website. I see two main goals for this. Basically we're going to add our header and our footer partials to drive our code. Then we're going to use Flexbox to add some simple styles to that index page. Step one is to make the partials folder. So we're going to make directory views partials. And then inside of there we're going to make header.ejs and footer. EJS. Let's go ahead and open both of those up. And then we can copy over or cut and paste our code from our comics.ejs. So inside a header, we want that. Inside a footer, we want that. Save all of that. And we're done with those for now. And inside of comics, we need to include those. So add the um, EJS tag that has the hyphen. Include partials slash header. And now at the bottom, we want to include partials slash footer. Decrease this indent by one level to keep it even. Alright, so let's start our server and see if it works. One thing you notice is that I added a little link to get to the comics page because I didn't want to be annoyed by having to actually physically type comics up there. So, yes, it looks like it is working like it's supposed to. Perfect. Next step is to add some CSS. Uh oh, where did I think? There we go. So let's stop our server, and remember our CSS we're going to put inside of a public folder. So make directory public, and then we're going to make directory public CSS, and touch public CSS, and, uh, what should we call it? Styles.css, that's what we'll call it. And this is basically going to be our overall style sheet for our entire website. It's not. It's going to be included on every page. It's not going to have anything specific to each individual page. We're going to design it in a way that the parts of it only apply to each page. So inside of our public and CSS, we're open styles. Let's just see if it works. Body, background color, red. And inside, to actually include that, we need to go into our header and add a link tag. So in the head, link href equals slash, which is slash CSS, slash style CSS. And then our rel is a style sheet. Let's save and see if it worked. Here's a hint, it's not going to. Oh, it would probably help if I started the server. See, didn't work. The reason, if you remember, is that we are not serving this public folder yet. So we need to come into our app.js and app.use express.static public. This is just more boilerplate, app.use express.static, and then you put the name of whatever you want your public folder to be. Again, I chose public, but you don't have to. Refresh. Now we can see that it's being applied. We obviously don't want those styles. That's ugly. So let's look at our comic.ejs. We got a few things. Right here we're going to add a class to this. Class equals page title. So that's our title page. We've got a container, we've got a card, we've got card image, card title, card description. So instead of our styles.css, we're going to start styling that up. So first thing I'm going to do is page title. We're going to give it a margin. 1.5 rem, 0, 1 rem, 0. So that's top, right, bottom, and left. And let's refresh. It just scoots it down the page a little bit. And by the way, in case you haven't figured this out, I have played with this and gotten these like a light of, like a beforehand. I'm not just sitting here making this crap up on the fly because I am so good. I've made this up before and tested it. Let's play flex. Flex wrap is wrap. Remember, this will allow our items to wrap to the next line. Justify content space around. This adds space on left and right sides of all items, not just the innermost items. 
border top, 1px solid, black, padding top, 1.5 radian. Let's save and refresh to what this looks like. Alright, we're getting there. Still not all that flexy, but that's because these things are the that's because the items are still too wide. Fortunately, we're about to fix that. Card. We're gonna have give it a border. Border 1px solid. Just kind of a gray for now. We can play with colors later. We want it to be a rounded border, so border radius, 1 REM. Now here's the, the part that matters. Width of 30%. This will shrink them down enough, and I'm not done, but let's look at it. This will shrink them down enough that they all fit. Now these images are too big, we have to fix that mess, but all of these are on the same page. So that's what we want. So width of 30%, margin, we want 1 REM on top and bottom, and 1.66% on the left and right. So let's refresh, see if that works. Yep. And then we don't want any padding. Under the card, or under the card image. Now, I could, if I wanted to, do card image like that and select the card class and, and just all the image inside of it. I'm a little bit more of an explicit CSS person. I'm not I'm not good enough with CSS to do all that stuff and understand it easily. So I like to add classes all over the place and um, style them individually. That's just my personal choice. It's not the best in the world, but it's the way that I learn and it's, it works best for me. So for the card image, we want the width to be 100%. This already should significantly help. That way our um, images aren't bigger than our divs. Now we obviously have a problem with these going down to the next line, but we'll fix that as well. Height is um, 20 REM. This will keep them from getting too exceptionally massive. Margin is be 0 in auto. That will center them. Object fit is cover. Because that way it'll, they'll fit inside of, that, um, of the div. And we're going to add a border radius to them as well. Because if we don't, actually, let's just wait on that so you can see it. Refresh. You can see they're inside, but they have square corners, and, they're, and it's messing up my rounded divs. So that's what the, where the border radius comes in. We have to actually add it to the images. So 1 REM, 1 REM, 0, 0. This is top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left. Refresh. There we go. You'll see that these are still um, not perfectly aligned because they, we want three on a line. So let's play with this a little bit. Instead of 1.66, let's do 1.6. See if that'll do it. There we go. So that's the card image, card title, and this is the um, H3 inside of it. We're going to do text align to the center, margin 0.5 RM, font family. We haven't Im imported a font family yet, so let's just do sans serif for now. Oops, sans serif, and we'll fix that in just a second. Font weight of 400, and font size of 1.8. Right. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. Looks a little bit better. And then the card description and have a margin of 0 on the top, 1 REM on the right, 1.5 REM on the bottom, and 1 REM on the left. Font family, going to be again sans serif. And then line height, and this probably won't come into effect much until we get the fonts imported. Save, that's what it kind of looks like. So let's go get some fonts. Um, fonts.google.com. I have two fonts picked out that I like. And do red rose. Actually, it's right here. So we want this, but we only need this at 400. So regular 400. And we also want the old standby Roboto. And I think we just need this at 400 too, now that I think about it. But if we need more later, we'll get it. So these are our embed codes. Or our one embed code is nice that it kind of, kind of lets you combine them. So in our header, because remember this has to go in the head, I'm going to paste that in, save, and then it tells you how you can select them, Red Rose and Roboto. 
for my CSS, I want the card title to be Red Rose. And I want the card description to be Robotic. Fresh. There we go. It's kind of a comic book-esque font. And that's where we stand for now. In this video, we did several things relatively quickly. We added um, our partials, our header, and our footer. We added a public folder with some CSS. We served that public folder using this boilerplate. And then we added a bunch of styles to our index page to make it look not quite so crap. It still looks crap, just not quite as crap. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks. Thank you.